The fire alarm going crazy on this one, man. I can't wait. Can't wait for the loud. <laughs> <laughs> Bird did not have to wait. Who's that? I beat my nuts to death. <laughs> Excuse me? So, what'd you say? I'm to death. We balling so hard, I need two refs. Need new lungs, take new breath. Oh, wait, no, let me change my bar. I got two balls, so I need two refs. I need um, sex. She gave, <laughs> she gave me sex. Oh, is that your bar? Yeah. Oh, damn. My bad. Kind of play off of yours. I, I didn't mean to. Oh, I thought I thought you meant that was the bar you were switching for. Was that the bar you were switching for? Uh, I already said the bar I was switching for. Two balls, two refs. Bro, that's the same bar. Yeah, that yeah. I said I said I'll be balling hard. I need two refs, and then I said let me switch it, and then I said I got two balls, so I need two refs. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. And then I said See, something I'm else. I think I just said sex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is going to be me on Genius Lyrics, bro. So you were having sex with the ref. And he called the tech. He called it. He called the tech. I got press. Called up Ryan Seacrest. And then shot him in the vest. He got wet in West Hollywood where they suck in the best. Yeah, he's tucking his nuts like I'm dunking on nets. Ooh. Big balls, hairy sack, like two eggs in a nest. And he's stuck in their butts like the ops stuck on text. Because they don't ever step out. Because if they did, they'd regret. Because I'm hitting them with a whap, pap, a bap, pap, and a whip pat. It's like a battle rapper. And... You're not really as good as you think you are. I better rap than you. See, because I'm from Westminster, Manchester, and you're from Anglabu. <laughs> Your pop should have wore a rubber. <laughs> okay. Something. Bouncing something stick to you, glue. Some llama, do my llama. I'm a demon like Eminem. Except Eminem hates his mama. Well, he doesn't hate her anymore. He's got that worked out with her, but that's not part of this rap. <laughs> this guy's fucking good, bro. He's meta. He knows the current climate of Eminem's relationship with his mom. See, because I'm from Brooklyn, and this is how we do it, that video. You know what I'm talking about? I keep trying to, I want to quote that video, but I can't remember that dude. The psychotic dude where he's like, I'll beat you over the head with a crowbar and then drink your fucking blood. <laughs> it was just like, it didn't even rhyme. Everyone's <laughs> just like, yo. Yeah, bro, he's just like spinning. He's like, and... Actually, you're a you bitch. Over the head with a fucking rock. Not that fucking guy. I'm talking about a different guy. I think fucking uh, this guy critical made a video on back in the day. He's like, yeah, no, I think we're talking about the same guy. Maybe I just threw in an accent for no fucking reason. Maybe he just kind of. Sorry. Imagine a fucking battle rapper comes up. He's like, yeah, and I'll fucking just stab you in the gut several times if you fucking try to respond to this. But wasn't that like essentially what it like what the video was like? The dude just was not really like rapping. He was just talking. And then like, <laughs> did he like forget his rap or something? Yeah. And then he tried to. I remember because he tried to. That kind of rhyme scheme, you know. But it just did flops. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
I've seen a lot of British people getting hate, not to flip over, but we were just doing British, British shit earlier. I, I, I've, I've seen a lot of British roadmen. I've seen British roadmen getting hate online, you know, for what? For, uh, should, but... I mean, for thinking that they can intimidate Americans. Oh yeah. No, no. Isn't that such a wild thing? Isn't that a wild concept? Yeah, I mean, not really though. But like, but like one of the most like, bro, would you fuck with a, would you fuck with a Somali pirate? No. I mean, I'd fuck with the Somali pirates. You know, like we could hang out, maybe like smoke a blunt or something. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. be talking shit. To the Somali but like, part. yeah, yeah, no, but fucking, but like. Roadmen, bro. Like, imagine you have a country, right? And your country has this one specific type of gangster that it's known for, and it's yeah. that. Yeah. And like, sure, like, I'm, oh, you got to watch out for the roadmen, yeah. They might come and run your pockets. He's got his, he's got a Z knife. He's got a zombie knife, yeah. <laughs> but then, like, an American comes up and he's like, "Oh, fucking, that's not a knife." This is a knife, you know? That seems like... That's pulls like the reverse. Gun. Like pulls, pulls out a gun, gun, but it's got a knife on the bottom of it. That's what's crazy. Americans with bayonets on their gun be like, bitch, my gun has a knife. <laughs> I'll stab you and pull this trigger. Fuck with me. Uh, my gun is a UK gangster. <laughs> but that's... Uh, I don't know. I've just been seeing him get some get some hate online. I just thought it thought it was funny. Thought it was something to bring up. I thought it was interesting. To... No, because here's the thing, bro. Like with Somali pirates and shit, right? It's it's kind of it's a little bit different because they don't really have like they're not like a gang. You know what I mean? They're kind of in the same realm of like the cartel, where like they don't really have like a jurisdiction or like you know what I mean? It's not like well, I mean, that's kind of different. I mean, they're an organization. I feel like Somali Pirates probably more like a splintered Like, if there's a chance where you can run into a Somali Pirate, you're probably not going to survive. You know what I mean? Like, or I mean, you might. Like, Is might that true? But I mean, like... Yeah, that's it, what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what are they about? Are they just about, like, taking shit? Are they just about taking cargo ships and shit? And, like, are they about that fucking... I guess... I mean, yeah, I think they like the moolah, but I don't know. I don't think they, like, want to just kill people because, like, they know realistically, like, the U.S. Navy could just fucking disintegrate everybody if they just randomly started killing Americans. Yeah, bro, the fucking the second they start doing that, there's oil in Somalia, you know what I mean? Like, oh, God. <laughs> but no, like, that's the thing, though. It's just, it's just, it's a different realm because what I'm saying is, if they're like, if you're in a situation where you run into a Somali pirate, it's not like in a situation where you can run. So maybe they won't kill you, but it's like you kind of have to do whatever they say or whatever. You know what I mean? It's a little yeah. more intimidating. With the with the UK like like roadmen though, right? It's kind. Of, they're more of a gang, and it's also like, bro, like remember 1812. Like the War of eighteen twelve, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, could you just That's give me a? Um, could... All I'm saying is, we. I'm not going to be scared of a motherfucker from a country where they fuck silly, don't have guns, and also we fucked them up in like multiple battles you know what i mean i'm not gonna be that's like bro we are america is like the definition of fuck britain even though we're like allies now right that's i mean yeah but like we still... are we are the country that was like hey fuck y'all like we're our own country now not only did we fight them but we said, you know what, we're going to become our own, like, fuck you, we're going to become our own country. And not only that, we're going to declare war on your country and then fucking win and then become more powerful than your country. And you think some silly dude in a fucking jacket, like, oi, bro. Like, bro's not even a, a high-ranking official in that country. He's just some guy. I'm like, bro, no. Take this shit back to 1812 real quick. Run it back, Turbo. You know what? That is true. That is a fact. We, I, 
the British Empire was huge, right? Massive. Fucking across India. Across like across India, across Africa, you know, across tons and tons of fucking continents and centuries. And yet I'm pretty sure that we are the only one that have actively gone to war with the country itself. Yeah. I mean like motherfuckers rebelled and people like fought back, but we we weren't like fighting back or like rebelling. We were like yeah, we're going to start our own team. And then we're <laughs> going to challenge your team, bro. That's like I'm trying to even, I'm trying to think of like a proper equivalent for that, bro. It's like yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea to like come colonize this place and then like just leave a bunch of guns here. And be like, yeah, this place where like these people that are like the colonies here that don't really like fuck with us. Let's make that like one of our arsenals. And guess what, bro? And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air. Bro, the the <clears throat> national anthem goes so hard, bro. It's underrated, bro. America's got the hardest national anthem. I'm pretty sure that Russia has the hardest national anthem. That fucking rah rah Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. There was a man. Is that actually their anthem? Yeah, bro, for sure. Bro, nah, America's bro talking about we. The only way we could see our flag was there is because we was blowing y'all asses up. That's what that lyric translates to. <laughs> Yo, I've never thought about the context of that. Yo. Flag was still flying was because we were lighting your ass up. Yeah, the only like, the only way we were able to see that shit is because the fucking explosions happening on your guys' ships. We had that shit waving at night while y'all were just jumping off in the into the fucking water. Your ships burning. Got that shit looking bright as the sun at midnight, bitch. We fucking out your fucking musket fire, lighting off, fucking drinking pints in celebration. That's how you knew Americans were crazy from the jump, bro. Because we thought that shit was beautiful. We like, they're the UK is like on the fucking, they're on their ships fucking fighting for their life, bro. Jumping overboard, like fucking, just everything's getting blown up. And then you got motherfuckers on our side just, like, looking into the sky, watching an American flag wave. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful, bro. It's like fireworks. And it's like, no, bro, this is war. Look at that flag. This is combat, bro. Look at that flag. Isn't We're that the shit? first country to think war was fucking beautiful. That's why we keep getting into it. This is taking a different approach than when Gage be on the podcast. We've, it's gone very patriotic. You yeah. never know, dude. Any day could be the last day to celebrate America. You just gotta, you just gotta live it one day at a time. I can appreciate the fact that I live somewhere that I could go coast to coast, and everywhere I go, it's fucking completely different, and everybody acts completely fucking different. You know? Oh god, no. That that's like it's crazy, bro. Because America is really big as fuck. I, I, I want to clarify, you know, and I get like, oh, yeah, I could fucking I could literally go to other countries and yeah, I'd be fucking different. And people act different. But a lot of people in those countries don't get the idea of just like it's like how I'm saying this. And like people are like, oh, he doesn't get the idea of how big the world is. It's like, yeah, well, you don't get the idea of how fucking big America is and just how diverse the shit can get sometimes, you know, like you can be in the middle of Boston and you can be in Chicago. Right. And it's also like. <laughs> Like, yeah, if you go from one country to another, it's going to be different. And even with some countries, like, you can go to one part of it and then another, and it's going to be different. But, like, like with America, it's the same country. Like, no matter where you go, it's so different, but you're still under the same flag. You know, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about just getting into the natural meth shit, you know, the, the, the ephedrine plant or whatever the fuck it is that... That's out there. I don't know if they smoke it or if they chew it or what. I think about getting some coca leaves and chewing some coca leaves. That's a horrible idea. Bro, apparently there's this shit. It's called Kana, right? K A N N A. If you feel like looking it up, Kana N N A. Apparently, you insufflate it. By insufflate it, I mean you fucking put it up your nose like a line. Just do a little bit of it. Apparently, it feels like nothing for a little bit and then it just hits. 
sequence and he is supposed to feel like molly is what he said it feels like molly like ecstasy where you feel really good you want to do stuff you know makes you like said it makes you a little horny uh makes you fucking just like up i thought that that sounded cool because that's a it's like a natural replacement i mean DNA so they, just, they found new ways to fucking fry your dopamine receptors yeah bro honestly i'm down what do I need these for anyway? You know, like they're gonna fucking burn out eventually. Yeah, I don't even think mine work anymore. So <laughs> I like achieved, achieved when you do something a survival skill. Do you feel accomplished, or do you just feel like it's oh fuck? Well, I did that. I mean, I don't know how many times I get into like a survival situation. Well, I mean, a survival skill. Like, how, do you feel good when you fucking? Well, yeah, I bet you feel good after you take a shower, but that's not. Bro, I, I feel like I I feel accomplished if I built a fucking house right now, you know. But that's like the only thing that would probably make me feel that level of accomplished or dopamine. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I'd have to like like here's the thing is dopamine and adrenaline are different. I feel I was gonna say I feel like if I ran into like a, a burning building and saved a fucking an orphan, right? Yeah, I would feel like really proud of that, but I feel like it would more just be like pride and adrenaline rather than like actual achievement. Yeah, no, I can see that. I wasn't even thinking about adrenaline. I was strictly thinking like dopamine. You know? Yeah. I mean, you want to yeah. talk about adrenaline? I saw. I fucking. I feel adrenaline anytime somebody fucking starts asking me dumb questions and they start like giving me that fucking tone, you know? Yeah. Start feeling a little bit of adrenaline course through my fucking veins, and it's like, I, I'm yeah. fighting. But with that, is it like, again, is it is it adrenaline, or is it like, like a very small, subtle, like, primal response of, like, aggression and hostility? Because sometimes people yeah. be pissing me off. I guess they're kind of the same. Yeah, yeah. The response is the is the adre- adrenaline. Even if you're not like actively like fight or flight, you know, it still enacts that sort of like, you know, like this could go in a way in which I just want to walk away from you, or like I'm I'm physically want to hit you, you know, like I want. To... I guess maybe it is like adrenaline, then. but it's bro. There'll be times where I'm like sitting there just like blue, right, and then like I'll just fucking like walk to the back, and bro, I'll do this thing where like. People have seen me do it and be like, well, are you good? But it's like, I'll be walking, right? And then I'll just like, like kind of like jerk or like do a really quick pace, like walk out of nowhere. And they're like, and, and I catch myself doing it too. And I'm like, bro, that was me imagining punching them in the fucking face. Like in my mind, I carried out that action, but I like didn't even realize I was actually doing something in a real, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like a real... It's kind of like I'm just like walking and I'm talking to, to myself in my own head and then I'll just kind of like jerk a little bit or just like do a quick like walk out of nowhere. And I'm like, bro, in my mind, I was just thinking about fucking stomping on their head. No, for real. You'd be like, I'm, I'm be... just running up to the face, bro. I could have just talked to like the the worst person ever, just like the most insufferable person. And I, I, I'm just sitting there like in my head, literally just like daydreaming all like fucking whack a boss game type shit, you know, like <laughs> and then and then my boss comes up and is like, hey, can you do and I fucking like I jump because I'm like genuinely scared. They like caught me off guard because I'm fucking sitting there so deep into this fucking like. That's what I'm saying, bro. You're talking about serving plates. You should be serving that fucking pack, bro. You could be serving out the fucking door. Bro, what fucking plug hit me up today? And was like, yo, this is so-and-so. He was like, he was like... The oh, pl- yeah, what's his name? <laughs> he said, yo, this is this is so-and-so, the plug. Like, comma, the plug. Like, he's writing a fucking letter. And... That's federal. And then put the fucking leaf emoji next to it. Well, I know it's him, because that's how we always be talking. And he said, I got some new pack in, my boy. This shit's real gas. And it's from a different number. And I laughed, because I went to save his number on my phone. And I have, like, no joke, I have six other contacts of this man. He's had his number <laughs> changed seven times, bro. <laughs> I'm like, bro, maybe you should stop trapping. 
<laughs> oh my god, bro! What are you doing, changing your number so much? What do you like, stop? I mean, you know, it's not my business, but it sounds like it's causing you more trouble. Right. A lot of that's really personal. You want me to keep a? Uh, you want me to keep that in? You want me to? You want to cut it? Do you want to? I mean, if you think it was a good conversation, you keep it. In. I don't, I don't some, of, some of it was decent. I mean, I definitely, I definitely get the fucking that shit you were saying about the manager, and then they fucking expect you to do all this shit when really they should be the one. Who wants to fucking do it? Because that, that's one of the <clears throat> that's one of the most annoying things I fucking find, bro. Is that like some, bro? If you are a manager and you fire somebody, don't expect the fucking team that you're fucking over by firing that person to come in and cover for that fucking person you just fired and basically cover your ass because you fucking because of fucking whatever reason, bro. That's that shift is now your shift, bro. Good job, you fucking working now, right? Like. I mean, that's basic. That's that is your job. That's what you got hired to do. Like you're a manager, you know. And I see a lot of managers. They just fucking sit in the office somewhere. They don't fucking stand and do work. All right. So, if you want to fire somebody, guess what? You get to be a part of the team today. And the thing is, bro, it's it's kind of like, like it's a gift and a curse, bro. Because I'm a I'm a good worker. Like in my job, <clears throat> I'm the best essay that we have. I'm not to toot my own horn, but like I'm really good at my job, right? And I go above and beyond, and I fucking work hard, and the shit can pay off, and it does pay off a lot, right? But then with that, on one hand, they're like, okay, so we can count on this person, and they they want to give me more responsibilities, even though like I have my fucking I don't want to say boundaries, makes it sound like sound like I'm fucking losing my virginity to them, but like. I have, like, things where I'm, like, to me, I'm, like, okay, if I work my ass off this hard, I should be able to set my own limits. If I if I do everything for y'all, I should be able to tell y'all when, like, no, you know? Yeah. But then, like, the way that they see it is, like, well, if you work this hard, like, you know, we want to give you more chances and more, like, responsibilities. But, I'm, I'm no, nah, bro, I'm good. I'm straight. Sure. Um, shit's fucking ridiculous. I'm gonna take this fucking dab. Uh, let's hop on this. I got this scooter right here. Well, it's not a scooter. It's it's uh it's a, it's called a Segway. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's hop on this thing and uh, let's let's ride it to somewhere. The cleanest Segway ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I I I paid a lot of money for it. Can you hear the torch? Yeah. I'll keep on. I'll, I'll cut this part out. <laughs> no, if I just said the N word. I mean, honestly, if you were going to do it at any time, this is the only time to do it. But... <laughs> if you're going to do it, get it out now. <laughs> <laughs> get it out of your system. <laughs> See, I have to cut that, but I don't want to cut that. because. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to say it, you better fucking say it now because... We're about to be there, and you can't say it there. <coughs> oh, I got no clue what the fuck I just inhaled. Bro, I just opened up my YouTube, and the third video recommended was Racial Slur Tier List. Should we make one? By the Chinese left ear Mozart. In one ear, I'm listening to the Joe Rogan podcast, and in the other ear, I'm listening to um, Good Boy ASMR. (laughs) In one ear, I'm listening to um, Jordan Peterson motivational quotes, and in the other ear, I'm listening to... Uh, the entirety of Beowulf spoken in Old English. <clears throat> and then in my left eye, I'm watching... In my left eye, I'm watching Geometry Dash. And in my right eye, I'm watching Ben Shapiro react to TikToks and Family Guy. And with my left hand, I am joking. <laughs> <laughs> and with my... I am bone smashing. And with my left foot, I'm incorporating it during sex. 
and with my right foot on I'm joking also with my right foot. It's a left Dual hand. Joking. Yeah, it's a left hand right foot type of I can see that getting some cross body motion. Yeah. Sort of trying to build a curve to it because a curve is attractive. Ladies in the comments, could you let us know what's a curve attractive? No, let's just say it is and then really enforce the idea that a curve is attractive until one day people are just like, yeah, dude, a curve is attractive. Didn't you fucking hear? You, you need to have a penis curve. Your dick has to curve to the right. <laughs> dude, I can see that on my fucking, like on the fresh and fit, bro. <laughs> Talk about statistically speaking. Bro, what the, the fuck uh, is the, the fresh optimal, and fit podcast? The optimal penis is curved. Bro, there's going to be like different ways to curve your dick. Curve maxing. Dude, I'm, I can guarantee there fucking already is. There's already like, yeah. Like, um, <clears throat> so basically that I, I stretch my dick out too. And I, I, they, I take these two uh, elastic bands. And then I basically just rub my dick till it gets hard while it's attached to this piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's curve like a complete maxing. right angle, bro. <laughs> Fucking ninety degree, bro. Those guy. I, I was about to say a cute dick, but no. <laughs> Bro's got the world's most perfect dick. <laughs> we finally figured out what it was. The fuck. That's a whole new type of glory. It's a glory corner, you know. It's just the dick curves ninety degrees, so you sit at the corner and you just kind of like wait with your dick hanging over the corner. Fucking a glory ledge. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Oh, what's this? Or like a, or like, <laughs> I don't know. There's a hole in the ceiling, and then you grab it like a handle. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Strictly <laughs> seventeen minutes of people getting slumped. You watching um, street fights that'll help your anxiety? Is that a thing? <clears throat> Yeah, that's a whole new level for street beefs. They're just like dropping. I don't know if it's street beefs or like other people. I've seen other people do it, but I, I'm pretty sure street beefs has done it too. Where they drop compilations under titles like that, like fights to help you go to sleep. I'm like, how the fuck is a fight going to help me go to sleep? <laughs> you know, I, I think like I feel the same way. I don't I don't get that like fights to help you go to sleep or like fights to help your anxiety. But then again, I can't knock it because... I've definitely listened to, like, 24-hour war sound loop and gone to sleep. Just sounds of distant artillery and gunfire. For real? Yeah, bro. Look up, like, World War I trench warfare audio. I mean, I've I've listened, but it's just, and, like, and it's yeah. like... It's a whole ASMR thing, bro. It's a whole, like, category where it would be, like, ambient... Ambient rainy night on the World War One trench battlefield, fucking whatever. Bro, it's nice. The shit. I get to sleep, man. Is that the shit you're falling asleep to, bro? Yeah, bro. I be imagining I'm like a soldier sleeping in a fucking trench. <clears throat> That's... <laughs> I've listened to, like, I don't know, pirate ship ASMR. That'd be scary as fuck, I... I don't think I could sleep on a pirate ship, bro. Bro, I think the best thing ever. <clears throat> this shit wasn't even ASMR. I don't know why I thought about it, but it was ASMR to me. I was <laughs> I was off a tab of acid, right? And I was laying in bed. And I was laying flat. I had the blanket pulled up to my... F- like, I was scared, but I was just cozy. But I was cozy, and I was just watching TV. <clears throat> and uh, But it looked like... Because the blanket was gray. And it looked like the blanket was the surface of the moon. And it had like lumps and hills and mountains and shit, bro. It was crazy. And then there was because the screen's light was just bright enough to make everything else around it dark. And then the screen, which was just fucking like, we were watching, I don't know if you've watched, we were watching a JonTron video. And this is before, this is before I knew JonTron was racist, everybody. But we were watching a JonTron video. But I was like, the TV is the moon. It's like the only thing I could tell myself was like, the TV is the moon. And that shit was like ASMR to me because I felt like I was in space and I was just watching. A no, giant nice, bro. I could, I could see that, bro. I'm fucking, 
there's only one thing that's ever come close to that and it's that i don't i bet you've probably seen it but it's like that space station loop where it's just like chill space noise and it's like a it's like a sort of blue uh bench uh scene it kind of looks like an adult swim sort of bump but then it's just got the stars and everything and it just kind of plays like that on loop for like 10 hours oh, shit no it it's crazy because i i'll be sober doing what you just said bro we're like i'll be laying in my bed at night bro and then like there, it'll be pitch black but there's like a couple lights on in the room like not not lights but like like we have you know the fucking <laughs> the the fire alarm will have like a little light on it the tv has this blue like this small blue light that's always at the bottom you know what i mean so not yeah. like lights that actually emit light but you can they just look like dots right and when i'm like yeah. laying down in bed i'd be thinking like bro what if this was like the view like like on a planet right and those i'm looking at like distant planets or different you know what i mean yeah. they hate that i have childlike wonder bro Yo, that's a crazy fucking thought. No, I've never looked at it. I've never looked at it like that. I've always ever seen it. Like, <clears throat> I guess because every TV I've seen has, like, a little red light on the bottom. And I've always been, like, evil robot. You know, like. <laughs> <laughs> TV's no, I'd be thinking, like, like, if I'm on a fucking, like, pl- like a, some random planet in a different galaxy, right? And then there's, like, a little blue light out there. And I'm, like, imagining I'm, like, a small miniature, like, person on standing on this planet. I guess the planet would just be where my eyes are, right? And I'm just like a mini person just like staring out into it. And I'm like, I wonder what that light is, bro. I wonder if we'll ever get space travel and get to find out what that light is. Space travel. Oh, God. Bro, the best is when you're just laying in bed just like holding your dick and balls, bro. Comfy, cozy in a blanket. I can't, bro. I can't. I start playing room. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't, bro. I, I can't. No, nah, bro. There, there's just, you never had that, bro, where you just be like, I don't know if it's an anxiety thing or like what, bro. It's just like sometimes you're just chilling and you get like under a nice blanket, bro, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to just like, I'm going to just hold my, my genitalia. Let me ask you, bro. Can you walk naked around? I mean, can you walk naked around your room? Like, are you cool with being naked? No, but only because we have big ass windows that are the length of the fucking wall but like generally like say uh, like <clears throat> no i like to, i like to be closed because if someone comes in i don't want to have a fight to the death naked same exactly bro see that's bro i go to bed i will see that's the, i will comfortably go to bed in jeans like i don't want to take my pants off oh, like, bro, I, bro, I do that all the time bro fucking piper be so blue she'd be mad Sometimes my jeans will rub against her leg, and she's like, take your fucking pants off. I'm like, no. But I wake, I wake up at four in the morning and be like, all right, maybe it's time to take the pants off, you know? And then they come off, and then I go back to sleep. I'm good, yeah. But shit, I, I can I wake up. It, though. Waking up, putting the bitches back on, and being like, ah, I'm cold. Yeah, I can't go to sleep with my fucking just dick and balls out, bro. No. Like, what if an intruder decided to just run into the room and then just fucking punch me in the dick and balls? It's not like having underwear would fucking help, but, like, it's concealment, at least. If an intruder breaks in, I'm coming out the room, helicopter swinging my dick at him, fucking nunchuck arms, fucking swinging. (laughs) I'm going crazy. Bro, that night that you fucking pretended that you, like, the government was on to you or whatever, bro? I swear to God, like, me and Gage were on the fucking phone for a while, and I was like, I was like, bro, I'm, because for a while, we are like, he's probably fucking with us, but then shit got sketchy a little bit, and we're like, I don't know, bro, I was like, Gage, you might have to, like, pull up here, and then we're gonna have to, like, hit the dash, bro, and I was like, I'm I'm gonna grab (laughs) a couple of this, bro, I literally remember, like, just, like, staying away from windows, and I was like, had all the lights off talking to this motherfucker. And I was like, bro, I'm about to get into the gun cabinet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm about to get into the gun cabinet, cabinet, bro. Because if, if the feds come busted in this bitch, bro, I'm not going down without taking one with me, bro. I can't believe I had y'all fucking tripping like that. That's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> bro, you had us ready to fucking go on the run, bro. Bro, I forget what it was that made me want to do that, too. I, I feel like I just... 
I woke up that day and I was like, damn, I can fuck with them somehow. Let's I'm see how. Watch the world burn, bro. Got bored. Played a little <laughs> prank. <laughs> I got a prank. Let's instill panic into the boys. Let's make them think that the federal <laughs> government and officers are coming after them. There's something they're not quite sure they did or are involved in at all. Oh, God, me and Gage, the phones were tapped, and we were, like, trying to figure out what it was that we did without actually saying anything that we did. We're like, could it be, like, that one, I mean, no, like, I don't think we did anything, but, like, what if, I mean, hypothetically, would they be mad at us for doing this? <laughs> we were, like, Let's trying say, to figure out what the fuck the feds were on us for. In some kind of scenario, they might have <clears throat> thought we did this. Would that be a reason that they would fucking blick Sean down? And I'm in the car. I'm pretty sure the entire time y'all were doing this, I'm sitting in the car. I'm like telling, uh, I'm telling, uh, I'm telling my girl that I'm uh, that I'm doing this. Um, <clears throat> I'm like, yo, I'm, a, Bro, I'm the, gonna prank him. I was say you had to have told her because I remember fucking texting her eventually, and I was like, I was like, bro, where is Sean? And then she wasn't answering, and I was like, fuck, bro, they got him. <laughs> Yeah, they had her in a, in I had an to interrogation. Look up their fucking Instagram, bro. I was like, because at first I was like, I was like, Gage, bro, fucking text her, and he was like, I, I don't fucking like, I don't have her information. And then I was, I clicked on like three incorrect Instagrams before I fucking found it. And I was like, all right, bro, this is this is the last hope. Like, if, if she doesn't know where Sean is, then it's wraps. And then I came out. Well, I didn't come out. I wasn't like, hey, guys, I'm gay. But I was like, <laughs> I'm alive. Gotcha. After all that. <laughs> Do all that just to be like, oh, hey, guys, I'm gay. <laughs> just to clarify, I'm not. Like, hmm. like, you know how motherfuckers be thinking, like, Bigfoot's real? And, like, creatures who are, like, technically mythical creatures, but, like, there's been, you know sightings and shit where they think they're real bro i'm yeah bro what if what if the tickle monster is real bro bro is that why i wake up and my pants are sticky (laughs) (laughs) bigfoot couldn't get that information out of me bro Man, <clears throat> how many times have you pissed yourself in the last couple of years going to bed? Like, genuinely, you ain't got to lie. I've pissed myself a couple of times, you know? I won't <laughs> lie. I've, I've pissed myself a couple of times, and it's every time that I've, I've drank, I've pissed the bed. I was about to say, happened. only when I, when I was, like, blackout drunk. So in the past year, not a lot. In the past two years, kind of a lot. See, I don't, <laughs> I don't even have to be like crazy drink. I, all I have to do is have a couple of drinks in me, like maybe one or two. And like, it's like, all right, cool. When I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to have a crazy dream Dang, at exactly six o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to wake up pissing the bed. No, nah, because if I'm even remotely conscious enough, like while being drunk to like, to like, if I'm even remotely conscious, I, I will go out of my way to make sure that I piss like 30 times before I go to bed because I'm not trying to piss the bed. Like, I go out of my way to be like, nah, I can't let this happen, bro. I mean, that's real. But when I'm, I'm, but like, when I'm fucked up, bro, like, maybe not blacked out, but like really fucked up or blacked out, like, yeah. I, I definitely would just like fucking not even be trying to go to sleep. I'll just be, next thing I know, I just wake up and I'm like, damn. You know who's the best comedian ever, bro? Is fucking Dave Cook, bro. So good. Dave Cook? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, Dane Cook. <laughs> oh, Dane Cook. Oh, shit. I thought you said Dave Cook. I was about to be like, who the fuck is Dave Cook? <laughs> no, I think I did say Dave Cook. I think I fucking... I think my brain tried to correct me and say Dave Chappelle because <laughs> I knew damn well that Dane Cook is not funny. You just tried to take one line off the end there. Just yeah. make it a V. No, bro. Fucking Dane Cook, bro. Do you remember chilling in bro, the fucking Dane shed? Cook. Watching Dane Cook? 
Yeah, bro, chilling in the shed watching Vicious Circle, the funniest motherfucking stand-up of all time. Just Dane Cook coked out, making jerking off motions for an hour. Talking about robbing, cheating, lying, and fucking all that <laughs> fucked up shit. I remember I tried to watch that uh, a couple nights ago. Did not did not go over well. The material that he talks about in that uh, in that stand up does not work well with the female variety. <laughs> it doesn't work well with the women. You know what I'm saying, bro? I feel like it was it was funny back then, which means it's probably not funny now. That's not always yeah. the case, but I feel like if we, and it was only kind of funny back then. Like if we thought it was kind of funny when we were like fucking twelve then, like, it might not be that funny now. Bro, uh, what's his name? What's the one? He's, like, a real, like, PG kind of comic, bro. I used to watch him all the time. He's actually... Ryan Regan. Yes, bro. Ryan Regan, bro. Ryan Regan's goaded. I knew that shit immediately. You know, Markiplier likes Brian Regan? You know, he's... See if... Brian Regan's fucking goaded, bro. Bro, there's one motherfucker. I actually downloaded... I remember I spent Apple money that I got on Apple cards way back in the day, you know, back in the day of asking your parents for Apple cards so you could buy shit on iTunes. I remember fucking, that sounds like a first world thing. I'm just, I'm going to circle back for a second. Oh, you know who I've never thought was funny? Hmm. Bo Burnham. Yeah, I'm not a big Bo Burnham. Fucking... He he's a he's a ladies comic, bro. Only women think he's funny, which means he's not fucking funny, bro. Why is it? You know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be like that, but it is the way it is. Why is it like that? You know, why is it like that? Why is he like that? He's a. I don't want to say. Like really narrows it down. He's like a band kids or a theater yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. He's like a theater kid, but also a lot of women. But like, yeah. But yeah, he definitely is just a band kid, and I think what it is is because he's like he's a little he he tries a little bit to be edgy, you know what I mean? But he's also like I think he's just what every woman wants their gay best friend to be. I mean, like if it's not a conservative woman, they definitely do want a gay best friend, you know? Like it's a that's a fact of life, which is crazy because like. And it has to be a man gay best friend too. Like right, right. That's well. That's what I'm about to say, bro. Is it's kind of crazy, bro? Because it seems a little like that's a little sus, bro. It's a little, it's a little bit sus because like, well, it's cheating without cheating. You know, it's like I, right. you can you can touch him and you can do all kinds of shit to him. You know, like, you, you, know, you, know, you can basically like fuck. You can suck his dick. Like you know, it wouldn't matter at the end of the day. It's, just, <laughs> it's like you get you, you just have this like feminine boy toy at this point right but it's a human being and it's supposed to be okay but it's like you never see a dude like yeah i want a lesbian best friend you'd be like what what's wrong with you you fucking freak see now you take that back because i i'm perfectly fine i i i have that bro my my best friend in high school hannah was lesbian bro i had a lesbian best friend but i never sought out to get a lesbian best friend and the difference is the the lesbian best friends that men have are usually the ones who could go into the men's bathroom and no one would think twice versus the fucking gay best friends that women have are usually dudes who could, if they were straight, pull all the bitches. You know, like, like Thor's a lesbian icon. I want to be uh, an icon for lesbians and for trans men, you know? Like something that they strive to, something that they strive to be, you know. Yeah, a but swag like, that they strive to have. You know how like how um uh, sorry, but I just really need to get this out. Like how, um, <clears throat> like how, like mask lesbians try to imitate. Uh, and somebody already made. I, I don't know their name. I can't find them. It was literally a video I watched in passing, and I just watched it. it had a really good point. Uh, but how mask lesbian like tra- not trans mask lesbians like butch lesbians you know dykes, dykes keep it yeah. keep it a hundred keep it a hundred this is how we did it back then. 
back, back, back in the, in the day, day, that's how we said it back in the hood. All right. That's that's what they are. They knew it. They was carrying around that 14 inch big silicone penis in their pants, just swinging <laughs> that thing around. They was in a relationship with like three other bitches and they lived in a house, had an iguana and they did art on the front porch. That's just what Butch, that's what Butch Dykes do, bro. That's just the shit they do. You can't tell me they don't. All right. That's how we did it. And that's how they did it in the hood. Tell me they, tell me I'm fucking wrong right now. Tell me I am fucking wrong and prove it to me. Prove it to me, motherfucker. It's just, it's a fact of life, bro. It's just some shit. Sounds like a movie, bro. Butch Dykes in the hood. But they always they always want to imitate like the uh, the stereotype of a of a black man. They want to imitate the stereotype of a of, of the bravado, the exaggerated swagger of a young black teenager. I don't think I ever seen a a, a black man with an iguana, though. I will say. Well, that's that's different. That's just that's just the being lesbian shit. <laughs> That's the lesbian part of them. No one of the iguanas. <laughs> yeah, there's, you see, it's it's fight. It's like two wolves inside of. <laughs> <laughs> you have two wolves inside of you. One of them's a lesbian. And one of them's a black teenager man. <laughs> black teenager man. It's what a black the... teenage boy. Oh, I thought you said teenager man. I was like, make that make sense. Teenager <clears throat> male. There we go. Yeah, that's, that, that definitely just fit a description, bro. No, but basically what I'm saying is that inside of you are two, inside of them are two wolves. And yes, one of them is the lesbian and then one of them is the black man. And inside of you are two wolves. And one of them is the butch dyke in the hood that has two wolves inside of them. And the other is a white man who only has one thing on his mind. Wait, inside of me? Inside of all of us, really. So we all have a little butch dyke in us? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where we were, what we were talking about. Like, where, what were we talking about before this? I feel like I had a point to make. And then we started talking about iguanas. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know, bro. It's fucking gone. Sometimes we tell the line between a fresh and fit podcast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare fucking say that, bro. Sometimes, I mean, you know, I'm not, it ain't me. It ain't me. I mean, it might be me sometimes, you know. I don't want to speak on him while he's not here, but sometimes I feel like it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, bro. You know, not to, not to fucking, this sounds really fucking crazy now that I realize what I was about to say. Because I was about to be like, yeah, I fucking listen to our own podcast and I, I keep laughing at something that I said, like remembering something funny that I said. It sounds pretty fucking psychotic, but like, bro, the fucking last podcast, I think it was whenever <laughs> he was like, you know what fresh and fit is? And I was like, I'm a high value man. <laughs> nah, bro, that shit made me fucking chuckle too. They say it. That's what I think of every time I hear Fresh and Fit now. It's just, I'm a high value man. Oh, fuck. I haven't gone back and, like I said, I don't really listen to the fucking podcast episodes. I've gone back and listened to a couple. I, I only go back and listen to the Gooning special, really, just because it's fucking, it just gets me going every time. I forget what, what like, bits are on that one. <clears throat> the fucking, the only, let me see a brass steak. <laughs> it's been two weeks. Yeah, we have not not been great with the fucking schedule. Nah, bro, I don't I don't blame you. You know, we all got our own shit going on, and that's like that's especially part of it is like I ain't even fucking like really hit you guys up to do the pod, and that's just because you know I got my I got my own personal shit going on. I'm trying to figure out. I really, I really fucking want us all to like get the fuck together and really like get some shit going. But I know that you can't fucking rush everything. And I know that you got to fucking really take your time. But I really want us to fucking lock in because I know that we can make this shit work, bro. Because I want to I want to say it right now uh, because they they keep asking me if they can be on an episode. There is uh, on TikTok that their, their name is Nevaeh's husband. I'm pretty sure they're on here. I'm pretty sure their name is Colin. And I'm pretty sure you read one of their comments one time. 
uh, but they comment literally on all my TikToks and like all the every podcast episode and shit, and like pretty much every video. And they're like, "I love the Gone to Pot podcast." And like, they're like I watch every episode. They're like, "I, I get stoned while I listen to it." They're like, "I, they're like I love watching it." And I'm like, "Yo, that's dope." I'm like I, like I genuinely appreciate that sort of like, you know, I get. I, I'm sorry, uh, Colin, uh, and I'm sorry if that's not your name. I'll go back and if. I'll edit it in. I'll edit your correct name in right now. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I like that. Uh, you know, I'm sorry, but I, it's a bit of a parasocial thing. But, you know, I, I like that sort of engagement. You know, it's nice because it yeah. it sort of gets people like to be like, oh, podcast, and then they can like check out my page. And it's like, it's nice. I appreciate that. You know, it's dope stuff. And I want you guys to know, like, I'd like you guys to be there. So, you know, like, sometimes I feel like it. I feel like maybe you guys might feel separated from it just because you're not like actively like taking a hand in like, I don't want to say, cause you guys are actively taking a hand in the creation cause you guys are here. But I mean, like as far as like the management of yeah, the how the operation runs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, that is dope as fuck. And like, it's not only, it's not like the thing is I would make the podcast even if, nobody fucking watched the shit because i mean essentially that's how it started and also like it's just us talking like we're gonna do this anyway yeah this is just us on the phone regardless no oh, yeah i i enjoy making it regardless but it's cool to like see like even even like the fucking hate comments bro motherfuckers hate on the shit i'd be like yo if people are watching this Bro, the hate comments are crazy because that's it's just like it's so funny that you like you genuinely like took the time to sit there and listen to whatever the fuck we had to say just so you could come up with like how you feel about it. That's crazy. <laughs> oh god. No, but I mean like even those, like you know, in in a way I still appreciate them because it's like shit, bro, you're fucking giving feedback and you're fucking you're existing and like not only existing but like you're interacting with the shit you're like and i don't mean that on a on a like um what's it called on the uh what oh, fuck what's what's the word for like if you're trying to hit the uh hit the dab no 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 hit the quam <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> try to hit the algorithm yeah yeah it's not, I don't even mean like engagement on like the algorithm level. Like, oh, you know, this is going to, but like just the fact that people are like engaging in it regardless. They see it and they take the time to type something, even if it's some negative ass shit. I'm like, yo, at least like it was fucking heard, bro. And it's, it's yeah. cool. So I definitely like when I see the positive shit, I'm like, damn, that's crazy that people are like fucking with it. And it's even crazier that like, at least one person wants to be a fucking part of it. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I feel, see, uh, I don't know, because, you know, I could easily just be like, oh, yeah, I got a bunch of followers on TikTok. Time to start fucking selling out, being an influencer, start reaching out to brands and shit and doing shit like that. But it's like, I'm really just trying to do what we do, you know? Yeah. And what we do is have fun. I don't know and, you said we already sold out, bro. <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever. If we sold out, we sold out. But I don't think we sold out. I mean, we're still here, right? We're still us. God. We still get little mishaps like that every now and then. But no, God, what the fuck am I trying to say, bro? I don't know. I'm going on a weird-ass tangent. But, and you know, scaling it from the fact... Okay, yeah, this is what I was saying. Scaling it from the fact that I come from TikTok and I've got a big following on there. And then I come here and then we're trying to build this, you know? We we just hit 500, which is dope because that's like it's like halfway to 1k, and then like once you hit 1k, I feel like you're ba- you're basically set to just like start like pushing out a bunch of videos as much as you can, you know. So let's everybody let's sell out as soon as we can. Um, but let's you know let's enjoy this ride. Um, I need to stop. Fuck, god damn, bro, ADH. And the hundred views we get on here feels the same as getting like a hundred thousand views on TikTok to me. It's like. It's crazy. It's 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 a good feeling. The fact that there's people out there who want to listen, like even 300 views on that one on the uh, algorithm episode, where we literally like the entire joke was just like hitting the algorithm. <laughs> like uh, that was a good little joke. That was a funny little bit. Yeah, bro. I feel like 
Like, they're definitely podcasts, right? But they're... I mean, I guess there's no guidelines as to what a podcast is. But when I think podcast, I think, like... You think of, like, a textbook podcast as, like, people hopping on and they have, like, a, they have their subjects and their talking points. You know what I mean? And we just be doing bits. The whole thing is, like... Like, it's hard to explain, but we're creating it as we go in the podcast. Yeah, we, there's no... We're changing the direction of what the podcast podcast is in the middle of it. Like, like, like you said, the fucking... The damn how to hit the algorithm. It was like, it just started off as whatever, and then we're like, you know what, this one's the one that has to hit the algorithm, bro. And that just kind of became the, the theme or, like, the joke of it. We just do bits and just... Yeah, like starting war with. <laughs> I don't know if that one was a bit. That... <laughs> so yeah, not a great bit to have. No, yeah. Got eventually one day there's gonna be a bingo card that comes out, and it's gonna be like, I don't know. Gage starts war with a country. <laughs> um, they suck their own <laughs> dick for like thirty minutes in the podcast. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't know. Basically, just fucking sit there and jerking themselves up, being like, "Oh, we're so funny, dude." <laughs> How funny we are! Oh my god, I'm gooning. <laughs> Better fucking mark that one off. Bro. Mark off a looks matching. <laughs> Bro, they're so fucking fried because we did. Do... <laughs> I feel like we do that every episode. <laughs> <laughs> at some point in the podcast it becomes self-aware we're like you start talking about the podcast and we're like dude we're just fucking this shit's funny bro we're just so fucking funny dude i can't believe how far, like the fact that we could even come up with the idea to make a podcast is fucking genius calling back our own bits that we did like a week ago <laughs> two weeks ago okay two weeks ago oh, God. oh shit <laughs> That's gonna be on the bingo card for sure. <laughs> jerk, jerk themselves off. Straight up, just tooting their own horn, bro. Fucking. If it's gonna get to a point, people will put it in the comments. They'll be like, "Yeah, this is the part where they toot their own horn." Skip to here if you're done hearing <laughs> that shit. Oh, God. We don't even, like. I love it because we don't even introduce ourselves. We don't introduce ourselves. We don't state what episode this is. We just fucking we start <laughs> and. Stop wherever. There we go. Keep going. Thirty Bro, minutes I, in. <laughs> 30 I was minutes. about to say early, like literally ten minutes ago. I was thinking, bro, because at the very start of it, we started talking about some shit, and I was like, I was like, yo, after like after we after this bit, whatever this is, like we should do our introductions, and then that was ninety one minutes ago. So <laughs> haven't introduced fucking selves. What the podcast is? It's all right, bro. They know. Yeah, instead we went straight to fucking just sucking our own shit. <laughs> just went to straight jelting, bro. Just fucking, oh, 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 dude, I'm so fucking good at this. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys haven't fucking figured it out already, this is the Gone to Pop podcast, the only podcast for stoned apes and humans alike. I'm Sean the Middle Ape. I'm here with... I'm Gavin the, the left monkey. And right... Yeah, left monkey. Right primate is somewhere, nowhere to be found. I'm pretty sure he's at a bar somewhere. He's, he's out having fun. Either that or federal prison. I don't know what this man... One of those two things, you know. Bro has three counts of murder, aggravated robbery. Is that one charge? It's listed like it's one charge. Like like he aggravatedly robbed someone and murdered them three times. I mean, if they made it sound like one charge, then it's one charge, right? So technically, he's got he's got a chance. But he has three counts of it. Like I'm saying, like the words "murder," "aggravated robbery" are all together. Like it's one thing. Yeah, but one charge, three counts, like shit, bro. Like that. But that shit he, don't even number he, out. If he aggravatedly robbed and murdered three people, 
I don't know. He might belong there. I mean, why the fuck they aggravate him then? Maybe he wouldn't have fucking robbed him. Facts. <laughs> but, you know, it's not that the robbery was aggravated. He was aggravated while he did it. It's like, you really pissing me off. And if you keep fucking doing that, I'm about to steal your shit. Bro, stubbed his toe in the middle of the robbery. Bro, did get the short end of the stick. Short end of the dick. That's the tip, because the tip is kind of like a separate part of the penis, if you think about it. Hang on. What's the world's most perfect tip look like? You ever just wish you weren't circumcised? Nah. For real? You never look at you never look at it and think like what if I had foreskin? Like I've rolled it in there a few times and you know, but like nah. I heard a fight the other night. I probably shouldn't say that so loud, but I mean, you know. Are you like walls thin? Can your neighbors hear you? Shit, I don't know. Probably we'd be getting fucking busy. We'd be getting loud. We'd be getting, we'd be fighting in this bitch, bro. They can probably hear it all too. I don't <laughs> give a fuck, bro. Mind your own business. I mind mine. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god, no, nah, bro. We've either had like the worst neighbors or like, like, bro. We we had a neighbor that just blasted. Like it was it was like these African people, right? Like they were like from Africa, like somewhere in Africa. And they would just blast like African music all the time, which was like, you know, it was cool, but like fucking chill. Bro, you need to, yeah, you know what? Fuck that. You move out here to Phoenix, bro. You need to move to Phoenix and you need to move to the fucking west side. Bro, or, or we would have neighbors who were like, like we have these Asian neighbors right now and bro, just be playing the piano. And that shit's hella just peaceful, bro. It's like always having Minecraft background music. Just, bro, I would wake up to fucking Mexican music, bro. I would wake up to Latin American polka. I would wake up to fucking <laughs> either that or some motherfucker revving their damn fucking ricer down the fucking street, bro. Some motherfucker revving their fucking. Why does your car need to be loud? For what reason does your car need to be loud in a residential neighborhood, bro? Your dick looks small. Everybody think your dick looks small, bro. Your car, you are, you know that you are the only person who thinks that you are cool, bro. And you think that that's cool? No, bro. You're a fucking. Do you, bro? I, if you got a locally, if you have a locally hated sticker on your car, I want you to find the. This is so fucking harsh. I'm gonna have to cut this part out, but uh, I want you to find. Locally hated. Yes, bro. You are hated. You're, in fact, you're internationally hated. Locally hated, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> flex, I would, I would try to be better, you know. Locally yeah. hated. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Fucking cool that everyone fucking hates you. You think you're different? You think you're a, you think you're a lone wolf? No, you're just a fucking bitch. I think you're locally known as a fucking geek, as a fucking <laughs> dweeb, bro. I think you're locally known as a fucking. Fucking sausage tosser, bro. I think you put that shit in your mouth and swish it around. <laughs> Fucking local queer, more like. <laughs> I like how you knew you were going to have to bleep it anyway. I'm going to leave in the part where I say I bleep it too. This way they know I said <laughs> They're really going to have to fucking fight for it. Gonna like, what the fuck did he say? Like how you fucking set me up to make it seem like. You know what? You know what? <laughs> but I'm not even going to fall into it again, bro, because I was going to be like, oh, you set me up to make it sound like I said, <laughs> I already fucking know. I know those games, bro. Yeah, bro. Out, bro. But no, well, that's here, the let, me, problem. let me get my PSA out real quick. Just just real, real fast, real quick. Fuck car guys, bro. Like car dudes, <laughs> car bros. I preach. Just say that you suck balls, bro. It's fine. <laughs> no, no one's gonna fucking think of you any differently, bro. But like, everybody has their thing. But if cars is your thing, you definitely have autism. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like I'm liking just... trains. That's the, you're the train kids of 
the adult life. You you know what I mean? You have your little conductor hat, and you're like, this one's a fucking 1950. Like, bro, shut the fuck up. No one gives a fuck. Your car isn't cool. As long as my shit gets me from point A to point B, point A being my house and point B being your bitch's house, the fucker, then I don't give a fuck. Damn. Bro, bro, you're going to... You're going to get me in trouble, bro, for real. I got a fucking, one of my biggest followers, one of my biggest supporters, even like when I first started TikTok, uh, he was a car guy's cloud. I'll, I'll shout him out right now just so so he knows. I'm I just so he knows I remember him. I know. don't have to stand here in shame. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> actually, so one he of knows. our biggest supports is, oh, uh, he's a car guy. <laughs> Yeah, bro, he actually, no, that ass though, he used to donate to me. He used to, well, not donate. He used to fucking send gifts uh, through TikTok lives until I got banned. Okay, well, he's cool. He's valid. He gets the pass. It's the, it's a certain type of guy, you know, there's, and you know him, you know him when you see him because he shows up in your Instagram reels and everybody in his comments is like, bro, this is fucking awful. You should probably drive that shit off a bridge. God, bro, they're doing like fucking videos. Like, we're gonna be doing so. They were gonna be doing the fucking, we'll be doing the whatever challenge, bro. Uh, we're gonna shift it into this gear while fucking. How about you do the down a 24 pack and then do the same thing challenge, bro? What I'm fucking like, how about you drink and drive? <laughs> like, shit, bro. Bottle of Jim Beam and some keys. How does that sound? I don't, even, I don't even want you to like get fatally hurt or anything. I just, I just want you to get a bad enough DUI that you never get to drive again, so you can shut the fuck up about your cars. Bro, talking about insufferable people, there was some shit I saw earlier. Typically, I like welders. I like welding content, you know? Yeah. But there's something about these new age, there's something about these welding kids, you know? But this... It's this one guy specifically. He owns a business. I'll give him that. He's a business owner, and that's dope. He, in fact, he's in Arizona. He's in Tucson, you know? That's dope. Um, he was like, he posted an Instagram reel, which one, posted an Instagram reel, business hours. And the Instagram reel, the context of the business ring, uh, reel was, uh, uh, imagine telling your girlfriend's dad that you work at McDonald's. And then it was just like his team doing work. And I was like, you know, okay, Instagram reel. You're making an Instagram reel, posting it on business hours. And it's trying to be a flex and like put other people down. I, I want to, again, say this. Typically, I like welding content. I think welding content is good content because a lot of the welding content I see is like motherfuckers who are like showing good welds are showing uh, young welders. Yeah, like uh, the craft the craftsmanship of it. They like yeah. they like welding. Yeah, yeah. They don't like being a fucking douchebag trying to overcompensate with welding. Well you couldn't weld your fucking parents' marriage together. <laughs> so you're a fucking sad piece of shit. Weld some bitches on your dick. How about that? Bro, exactly. It's like bro, what the biggest thing that just had me fucking going, bro, was the fact that it was like imagine telling your girlfriend's dad is like, bro, I wouldn't I don't, I don't give a fuck what he thinks. It wouldn't matter. I'm not trying to oppress him, bro. I'm not trying to fuck him, am I? Like, my dick right. doesn't go inside. <laughs> right. Like, look, I want my girlfriend's dad to like me. But, like, also, if my girlfriend's dad fucking dislikes me because I work at McDonald's, he's he's kind of just a comeback. Like, I'm not worried about his opinion. I feel like, uh, uh, actually, I'm a regional manager at McDonald's. I manage about seven stores in the area. I don't know. I don't if give you a know, fuck but it. that actually makes more money than welding. That's what's fucking insane. Oh, God, but I don't even give a fuck if they're just the motherfucker flipping burgers or whatever. Like, bro, if, if I had, a, like, a kid, I wouldn't even care if they worked at a McDonald's, or, let alone the person they're fucking. Here's the thing, bro, is you can have a fucking, like, a stand-up dude that works at a McDonald's and lives a comfortable life of, like, doing whatever they want to do, or you can have a fucking... Andrew Tate watching fucking iPad kid generation snot nose fucker who's doing like crypto trades and shit. Like, you think that's the person I want involved in my family? No. I hope that person gets a fucking tumor and dies. We don't need more of those people. So you just said that shit. is important to society, bro. But like being a fucking 
douchebag cunt is not. So if you're if you're welding and you think you can just be a dickhead, you're kind of like you're kind of undoing the good that you're doing in the world. And that just leaves you at nothing. You're zero. You're meaningless in life. Oh God. Why would I hire a dickhead welder when I could hire a cool welder? Oh my God. Why would I hire the motherfucker who I know sucks ass, bro? Like, I don't give like, oh, cool, you got cool work, but you're actually an insufferable fucking person. Like, yeah, matter of fact, people who are better people than you and have better character are probably more likely to be fucking better because they're not, they're not, their core values aren't that they're a welder and they're above all and they have that ego blocking them, keeping them trapped in that same spot. You know what I mean? Like, they're the ones who are like, Man, I like enjoying life and I like welding. You know what I mean? Like, it's like the same thing with food. Motherfuckers who make the food with love. I don't give a fuck if you're the iron chef. If you're in that bitch fucking tweaking out and shit, your food's not going to taste as good as a motherfucker who's like, you know what I mean? Some fucking Jamaican dude back there listening to Bob Marley just cooling, whipping up some good shit. Oh, and then he buddy. brings it out with a smile on his face rather than some fucking greasy iron chef like sweating, walking out there like, this is made with 100% organic tomatoes. It's like, bro. Not for real. Relax. Listeners, right now, if you don't hear music in that kitchen, get the fuck out of there, bro. Oh, God. Those workers, they're not, they're not happy, bro. They're not going to make your food with love, bro. God. They either need to make it with love or they need to substitute it with like fucking three shots of tequila. Let's make it the job done. Or fucking like cook the shit out that bitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> like fucking Oh god. They're they're all fucking pussy out. I don't know. They're cooking that shit like their fucking citizenship depends on it. <laughs> now what they're do you mean by the that? president? <laughs> oh god, bro, I'm telling you. Some of these motherfuckers, bro. The great, the great people, bro. They're my favorite. Like, bro, I love chopping it up with the kitchen more than fucking anyone else in the restaurant. No, no, they're the funniest people, bro. And we don't, we don't even like. There's such a bad language barrier. Half of it's just us laughing and smiling, not knowing what the other person just said. And that's like this, this is the best kind because we're communicating, but we don't even know what the fuck we're saying. It's like, oh yeah, ha ha ha, fucking bro. I swear to God, it, this shit makes me. It low-key made me kind of racist, bro, because now when I, like, talk to, like, a, like, a Spanish person, bro, I speak with, like, a, with, like, broken English. Because when I talk to the kitchen, I, like, talk to them how they talk to me because they understand it better. Yeah. Like, if I'm, like, hey, I need a cook up on the chop steak for table five, right, they're going to be, like, huh? But if I'm, like... Saying it, I don't even want to say it. <laughs> no, it's no, it's no, no, no. Here's but the thing. I'm, because here's the thing, right? Uh, because that's how they say it. So if you say it to them like that, they understand it better. Right. If I'm like, that is the like, way they understand it. I'm like, hey, chop steak way. They need cook up. And I was like, eh, hey, no, mamas. They don't like it. I'm sorry. They start laughing and they're like, oh, shit. And then they fucking make this shit, right? Then they fucking shit gets fixed. Then everything's fine, right? You got to call them way. They, that's. It's a term in endearment. It also means dumbass, I'm pretty sure. But they say way after everything, bro. <laughs> it just means, I think it just means bro. Bro. Yeah, they, it's like, they'll be like, I'm trying to think of something that they say. They'll be like, oh, you need a ticket way. No ticket way, I can't make it way. <laughs> I'll be no like, fuck y'all, fuck y'all ticket way, I need a way. <laughs> Nah, bro, but do you know the way? Do you know the way? No, nah, bro, we be having that fucking that good communication in the kitchen, bro. I love those guys. But at the same time, like that day that I fucking accidentally called the silent alarm, bro, all of a sudden our kitchen staff was fucking nowhere to be found. Police rolled up and we didn't have any fucking chefs. I go back to the fucking dry storage and there's like eight of them motherfuckers just cooling in there. <laughs> like, like y'all can come out now, bro. You're good. But you gotta, the thing is, you gotta be like, it, it's hard just like on the street. You know what I mean? You don't just like start chopping it up with them. But when you work with them, it's a lot easier because all you gotta do is just joke around with them, ask them, be like, just be like, Cervezas? 
just means beer. See, that's the and difference, they'll, bro. They'll fucking love you. It's because motherfuckers on the street want to chop it up with me, not the motherfuckers I work with. It's the motherfuckers on the street. They they look at me, bro. I was I was walking into the Seven Eleven earlier, and literally this motherfucker, I'm pretty. It looked like he got shot in the throat. Bro had a bullet wound, and he had bro bro had the he had the look of a man who had gone through war. He had the tats. Yeah. He had it all. And he looked at me. He, I forget what he said, but he he said he was stranded here. And the only thing I could say was like, I'm sorry, bro. I don't have anything. Like, if I, <laughs> but I don't like, I just had to ask myself. I was like, why the fuck is, is it always me? Because like a couple nights before at that same fucking gas station, a homeless lady walks up and she's pushing a cart like full of shit, like taller, like fucking 14 foot tall fucking shit, like cartoonishly tall <laughs> cart. That's a cartoon ass fucking shopping cart. It's fucking shit. And she she, like, she stops the cart, turns, and like it's so fucking goofy, bro. It feels like it's out of a fucking movie. She turns and she's like, Do you guys have any money? And bro, you know, uh I'm a heaven. She's just she's just trying to get in the car. She's like, Sean, open the car, open the door, open the door now. And I'm just like, I've turned and I look at the lady and I'm like, Yeah, and I unlock the car and I get in the back seat. I we literally just cleaned the car and I grabbed some change out of the back seat and I gave her some of the change. And I was just like, Yeah, there you go. And then fucking like, I don't know, maybe a couple of fucking weeks before that, he lives on the side of the it's a homeless man. He lives on the side of the building. Yeah. He came and asked for money. And I told him I ain't had I, I didn't have anything to give him at that time. Yeah. But now he like he like he like he like lives there. So now it's like, bro definitely sees me come in regularly, you know. <laughs> Fucking with groceries, he's like these motherfuckers. He's, he's like, ah, oh, I see you walking out with that cherry Pepsi and that Oreo ice cream sandwich. Oh God, <laughs> no, bro. For me, it's the opposite, bro. Like you're saying, she was like trying to get in the car, and you were like, bro. I remember, I distinctly remember this, bro. That there was this dude who approached me outside of Longhorn when I worked at Longhorn Steakhouse, bro. I was out back, and this dude approaches me, and he had the fucking jaundice, right? And he, like, walks. Okay, I don't even know how to describe it, but, like, there's, like, it's not across the street because there's, like, there's, like, the main street, right? The main street that goes through, like, the middle of town. It's, like, all the businesses are on, right? And Longhorn's right off that. But then, like, behind Longhorn, there's, like, a little road where you can go to get to, like, the other places. Because but even further back, it's a big-ass parking lot. So it goes to Longhorn, then Mini Road, parking lot. And then there's, like, there's, like, a Best Buy and, like, all these different, like, a fucking Five Below, I think. I don't know. Like, all these different stores, right? And this, so basically, like, it, it's just a straight walk from, like, like, if you walk out of the Best Buy doors, you can just walk straight and then end up at the back of of Longhorn and walk through those fucking doors, right? And so I'm, like, outside smoking, outside of Longhorn, and I see a dude in the Best Buy parking lot, and I literally see him look at me from, like, hella far away and then just start walking towards me. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like that's fucking weird. That's I, was like, I was like, is he coming towards me? Yeah, whatever. And so I don't think much of it. And then bro just keeps walking like straight in my direction. And I kind of like pace a little bit like from side to side to see if he still follows my direction. And he definitely is like making a beeline towards me, but he's just walking. And so he finally ends up approaching and I'm like, I've, I'm already prepared for the interaction. Like I know he's coming to me, right? It's this fucking dude with like jaundice eyes, right? Like this tall black dude. And he was like, I say tall. He's probably like six foot, which is tall, but it's only like a few inches taller than me. Bro's like, he was like asking if I had money, right? And I was like, because he said he needs to buy a, a phone cord because his, um, his phone's dead, which kind of checks out because he's just at Best Buy. So I was like, uh, well, I don't have any money. And he was like, he was like, oh, can I use your phone? I'm waiting on a ride. I need to call him and tell him I'm here. And I'm looking at him, and I'm like, okay, so this dude has jaundice, and he doesn't look to be in the best shape. So I know he's not running away from me. So, like, I'll let him use my phone. He's not getting far. 
if he tries to run with my phone, he's getting punched in the back of the head. So I'm like, all right, cool. You can use my phone. And the whole time he has my phone, he's like kind of walking. He's like pacing how I be on the phone, right? But yeah. like I'm pacing with him. Like I'm not letting him walk <laughs> away with my phone. So I'm just walking with him the whole time on the phone. He's just walking like around the parking lot a little bit. And eventually he fucking gets off the phone and then like walks away, right? And he looks kind of mad, bro. Like he looked mad that like he couldn't fucking scam me. Fast yeah. forward like like two weeks later, maybe a week. It wasn't that long. I'm at the fucking liquor store with Piper, right? And keep in mind, the day before, there was a fucking... I keep on trying to, like, not say my fucking city name, but there was a news report for my city. Yeah. Uh, and a, like a an alert, like a be on the lookout kind of a bolo for two suspects. And they had the pictures... But, like, one of them was just, so one of them was a mugshot of, like, this, like, this other guy, right? But then the other one was, like, CCTV footage. Like, like they just took a screenshot. So you can't really clearly see what he looks like. But he looks a lot like the fucking dude. Like, I couldn't 100% tell, but I was like, that kind of looks like John, this guy. Well, mm. we're at the liquor store. The day after this news report comes out. Well, oh, I didn't even say what the news report was. Two men going around pretending to be homeless and then stabbing people and taking their shit. Like, they had, like, stabbed, like, four people. Well, we're at the liquor store, and I see the same dude. I know it's the same dude as before. I could see it in his eyes. And (laughs) bro fucking comes walking up to us as we're trying to get in the car, and I'm like, Piper, get in the car. Like, I see him, like, approaching us from the other side of, like, the parking lot. It's a smaller parking lot. And I was like, Piper, get in the car. And she's like, what? And I was like, this dude's going to come ask us for money. He's, he's fucking homeless or whatever. Like, get in the car. I don't have time to say, hey, I think this guy might fucking stab us. Yeah. I guess I did, but it was just like, I didn't want, you know. So You, you don't want to freak him out, right? right? Yeah, you don't want to so, freak her out. Like, that's fucking. So I was just, like, get in the car. Because, oh, here's what happened, actually. Let me back up just a, a few seconds before this. When we're leaving the, the store, right? Piper is going out to the car. I'm still in the store. I see bro, see her and start walking to her alone. So I come out of the store afterwards and she's already at the car as he's approaching. So that's what made it sketch. Like he yeah. thought he had just caught her alone. So I come out there and I was like, hey, Piper, get in the car. And then I, I was like, he's homeless. He's going to ask for money. As he's like getting really close to the car, and she was like, "Oh, I have money. I don't care." She was like, "I can give him like a little bit," and I was like, "No, no, no," and she won't fucking get in the car. She won't listen. And then like he comes up and he's like, "He's like, hey, my family's like, uh, our car broke down, and like I was wondering if like you guys could spare you know, if you guys could spare anything like to you know help us fucking whatever. I guess get gas to get to the next town or some bullshit, right?" Yeah, and. I'm, like, just watching dude's hand. He had, like, one of his hands in his fucking pocket. And Piper's, like, Piper's, like, yeah, like, give me one second. And then she has her back turned to him, digging through the car, like, trying to get money. And bro looks like he's, like, trying to inch closer. So I'm, like, standing in between them. And then she gets the money and is about to hand it to him. I take it out of her hand, and then I hand it to him. And I was like, that's all we got, bro. And he was like, appreciate it, and just walked away, bro. Bro. So you see the memes where it's like, our equivalent to, like, cheating in a dream is, like, you not fucking listening in the apocalypse dream. <laughs> yeah. keep saving you, bro. That's, that's, it's real life, bro. <laughs> so many times where I'm like, Arr! like, I'm going to die protecting you, and I don't want to, bro. <laughs> I remember we had like a whole argument, like a whole conversation where I got real with her. And I was like, I'm like, listen, I know that you're like not really not saying I'm from fucking O Block or or anything. Right. But like I've seen enough shit and I know enough shit. Right. And I'm like, I get it. You're not really from that same environment. But like 
listen, the world is evil. Like, this was back when she was like, well, you know, if, like, I don't want to own a gun because, like, if someone's trying to kill me, like, I don't, I'm not going to kill them because why is my life more important than theirs? And I was like, <laughs> they're trying to kill you. Are you fucking... Yeah, no, I don't get that. That, that makes no sense that at all. The fuck? They've already thrown humanity out the window. Bro, how do you think I, I am, bro? Trying to explain, like, hearing this shit from, like, the person I'm with, bro. I'm losing my mind. I'm like, no. Like, they have forfeited their right to a face if they are trying to fucking harm you or take anything from you, bro. They made their decision. Now, you get to make your decision on if you want to live or not. But they made the decision already that they're going to fucking hurt you. So, like... Make the right decision back, you know? So, we had a real-ass conversation. I'm like, listen, bro. You can't trust anybody. Like, we had the same conversation with road raging. I'm like, bro... If we get into a thing like you're not you're not putting anyone at risk but me. You're basically saying you don't give a fuck about my life every time you road rage at some random motherfucker. Because I'm gonna have to step out and deal with it. I'm not gonna let some motherfucker hop out and scream at you and do some shit to you. I, 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 when it comes down to it, bro, that's life as a man, isn't it? Life as a man is you. You have to be the one who is on point and ready to be a. And it sucks because it it's men. You know it is men. I don't want to generalize it as men, but it's men that you have to look out for as a man. You know. Yeah. And and that's strictly, that's strictly for everybody around you and yourself. You know, not for yourself. You have to look out. Now because. Of course, when it comes to like your personal life, there are going to be women that are trying to attack you, but it's not like women are just going to be out there randomly trying to murder your fucking friends, you know? Right. Unless you like, right. that's the type of life you lead. Exactly, exactly. Bro, this, okay, so like, for like women, bro, it's kind of like, I don't want to say all women don't understand it, and like, I know there's, it's different, but like, to truly understand it, I don't know. Maybe it's a male brain thing. I don't know. But, like, damn, we are turning into fresh and fit. <laughs> um, but, no, it's like, it, it's just they don't comprehend, like, just the fact that we can be in the most peaceful, non-threatening setting. And that is still always on our mind. We could be in a fucking, you know what I mean? Like, anywhere. We could be literally anywhere. And, like, I'm going to be staring at the motherfucker walking by just in a suit with a briefcase. It doesn't have to be, like, we're downtown in some rough area and some dude with a hoodie on is fucking, like, walking up on us. It could just be, like, chilling at the bank. And there's some fucking just random dude who just, like, I see him stare for, like, one second. And all of a sudden, my brain is snap. It's like... I'm like, yo, what's that? Like, the fuck was that about? What's that dude on? Like, me and Paul were just out eating last night. And fucking me, Paul, and Adrian, we were just eating at some place. And there was just some dude who was there for, like, a fucking Grubhub delivery, right? But he, like, stared at us, like, three different times. And the first time, it was like, what the fuck? And then, like, the second and third, bro, we're, like, sitting here, like, are we going to have to fucking beat this dude's ass? <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's no, yeah, for real. Just from a stare, though. It's like all it is is just looking. Like he's just observing us, and we're like instantly hostile, like ready to fucking have a fight to the death in a fucking subway. Right, bro. But here, here's the difference between the woman's spirit and the man's spirit, bro. I just sent you the picture, bro. Best way I can describe it. Send me the pic. Let me see. <laughs> Like me, I don't want to fucking die. I don't yeah. want to get into a confrontation. Yeah, I have a hard way of putting that. So let me. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to how to word that. But you keep saying what you're saying. But yeah, no, it's it's still fear driven. But it's it's a different type of of fear. It's not fear as in like like how do you even? It's so hard to. It, it, it's hard to say, you know, it's hard to, but you know that the difference is there because you can, you can like actually like see it in like everybody. Right. And it's not, it's, I'm trying to think of like a good example. It's really fucking hard, but it's like, 
the fear of, um, okay, this is a really fucking dark example, right? But like, it's the fear of like, if let's say it's an abusive relationship or like an abusive household, right? Like a husband and a wife, right? Yeah. And the husband's abusive to the mom for this example. And not to get too personal, but I can, I can relate with this example. That's why I'm using it. But like, there's a dude trying, you know, whether it be the husband or just like mom and then some guy. Right. And then she is like in danger and he is, he is like an aggressor. He's like going to attack the mom, right? If you have a daughter, they're fearing for their mom, of course, but they're also fearing like I'm next type shit, right? Whereas the the boy is fearing because he he doesn't. It's not a victim fearing. It's a fearing of like that that scared feeling of like I'm about to have to like fight I'm about to have to fight and i don't know if i can protect yeah it's like i'm gonna have to fight and i know this is a fight i'm probably gonna lose but i'm still gonna have to do it it's not and an i'm gonna like have to get away and i don't know if i because you're not gonna leave your mom there right but you're also not gonna like like you don't want to get fucking this shit kicked out of you but you're like you know you're you see some dude fucking like on your mom fucking like wailing on her you get that that fear your fucking legs are shaking and then at some point you just fucking run at them it's like that fear versus the fear just freaking out and being like fuck like she's in danger and then i'm about to be in danger you know what i mean it's like it's a little different i'm sure women like girls would get that feeling too but i don't know yeah, it's, I mean, it's not something, again, you know, all of this can really be just chalked up to personal observation, personal experience, and just, you know, of course, these are all our opinions. You can't have yeah. opinions, but, you know, we've, we've got them, and these are, these are those, uh, and worldviews and, and philosophy. But yeah. I, as, far as, as far as I know, you know, uh, that's just not what we've observed. Yeah, what we've observed feels, is what yeah. we just said. It feels that men, I feel like, at least for me, like you said, it's it's all perspective, but at least for me, I felt like from a young age, like like hella young, I understood the the implications of violence. Even when I would get into fights really young or whatever, it was like, from from a young age, I was like, I was like, yeah, like, it just felt different, really, like for girls. Even back then, I was like, "Girls don't really get into fights," and that's probably because they're fucking smarter about it. But sometimes that's not always the case. Sometimes it's just because aggression isn't female in nature; yeah. it doesn't target them. Sometimes sick, fucked up people target women, but men is just. There's always that fear of violence, bro. Yeah. And maybe, you know, and maybe it's just like often, but, you know, I don't hear about women killing other women in fucking hand-to-hand fights, you know? Yeah. I hear about men going and fucking, he punched another man's lights out on a fucking concrete road and the dude fell down and fucking died, you know? like Right, or fucking knocked him out and started stomping on his head. Yeah, so- it's a different. I don't, hear fee- I don't hear female rappers talking about their dead ops. Yeah, buying actual murder and like basically guerrilla warfare, and maybe that's just the female rappers you listen to. You know, maybe you need to get more into the female drill scene. You know, but I feel like, but I feel like females. Yeah, I mean that's true. I feel like most female rappers, like that's what I'm saying. There's always going to be the exception, right? Yeah, but well, like, I mean, yeah, bro, there'll always be fucking. And, you know, that's what fucking sucks is because there will always be an exception. So people will always be like, well, that's not fucking, that's not. But here's the thing, right? Not like the exception isn't the rule, even if the exception makes up fucking like 38%, okay? Like the exception is still the minority no matter what. Like that is that the exception is the minority. That's what the fucking yeah. exception is. Keep it fucking. Let's. <laughs> And let's take a let's take a you know a hundred random female rappers, a hundred random male rappers. Look at their songs, 
I guarantee most, a majority of the men rappers, even if it's not even a bar, if it's just some shit they're saying, it's going to involve pulling up on somebody, you know, like, it's going to include some sort of act of violence, right? Versus female rappers is more going to be focused on their ability to, I guess, make money and just like, I mean, I don't want to say like, it's, it's all about sex, but like, Bro. be, be more appealing. Like the, to them, they're like, I'm more appealing. I'm, I'm prettier than you, bitch. You know what I mean? Where men See? is like, I'll kill you, bitch. And it's, <laughs> and it's just like throwaway bars, right? Which means yeah. that that's shit that's just on their mind that they don't really have a good bar to write, but they need to fill this beat, right? So this is shit that's just in their brain. Women don't just have that on their brain where they're like, I pull up and stomp a motherfucker's teeth out. But, but men do. It's just on the brain. So it just comes out in a random throwaway line. Yeah. I mean, you might hear, you know, I pull up and smack a bitch. I pull out her weed. You're not hearing, I pull up on that bitch with a Glock and I empty the fucking clip and, right, <laughs> and like, do yeah, it on her whole fucking gang, not in a ditch. You'll definitely hear it, but yeah, that's what it gets. It, it not a ass on live like, like they on Twitter getting clips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But it boils down to just like fighting. Like, it's kind of like, oh, this bitch want problems? I'm going to fight her. And then the dude's song is like, if a motherfucker step on my J's, I'm going to hit him with the K. It's like, bro, huh? Do it in broad day. I do it with his family after they leave a church gathering. And this is a, the impression I'm doing is of a white Southern rapper, just so the audience knows. Yeah. We're Refresh. not saying a certain type of people um, gravitate towards violence. I definitely would never imply that. Well, I mean, there's really only the majority of the, uh, of the, <laughs> of the rap scene. So, you know, it's really... There's a, it's just like how there's only one group of people who really ride Harleys, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know. Bro, biker gangs, bro. Biker gangs are like the, they're like the fucking roadmen, like we were talking about earlier. They're the roadmen of the U.S. Because it's like, yeah, I know they do some shit. Like, they, they definitely are down to fuck you up, right? But I just can't take it serious. It's like, okay, jean jacket, like, fucking settle down. Bro, I see too many fucking videos of, like, like regular bike dudes, you know, dudes who post their shit to Instagram reels or YouTube yeah. shorts, and they pass motherfucking, like, MC members who have the jacket with the patches and shit, and then the motherfuckers get pissed and start yelling at them, and, like, everybody in the comments is like, you need to respect the rules. And it's like, bro, if... And he comes up to me and tells me that I shouldn't do that. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. And you know what's going to happen? Absolutely nothing after that. Because I just hit a man who was only on two wheels while I'm in four in an enclosed vehicle. And he is in a box. He, he, he's not. He, I'm in a box. I'm in a metal box by myself. And he is on a, he's on a two wheels. And that motherfucker is wibbly wobbly. And you're telling me what? That motherfucker. Oh, he, oh what if he starts blasting? Like. He's not gonna, you know why? Because I hit his ass because he thought that he could come up to me and start fucking yelling at me because I passed him. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna be fucking hard for him to start blasting at me when his fucking head got taken off by a guardrail, bro. If you want to out, like, the thing is, is (laughs) how much. How crazy are you willing to get? How 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 far are you willing to go, bro? Are you willing to out crazy my crazy? Because if you're willing to out, yeah. Are you willing to out crazy my crazy? That's that's it. That's the sentiment, you know? Bro, I'll catch their ass in fucking Arizona and throw a piss cup out the window at them. Oh, oh God. Piss all up in their mouth and on their clothes and everything, bro. Piss all <laughs> on the side of a car. I'll piss out the window. Oh, God, bro. That'd be cr- You know how funny that would be if, like, we got... If we are on our way to fucking... On our way driving, bro, we just like there's just like a motorcycle, like an MC motherfucker, right? And he just like flipped us off or some shit. And I was like, hey, get up close to him. And just started pissing on him from out the window. <laughs> just threw the piss cup out at him and he fucking <laughs> crashes. <laughs> Make sure to leave my DNA all over the fucking crime scene. That shit would have been lit as fuck, bro. I don't even give a fuck. We'd have gotten away. 
Oh, like, fuck that motherfucker, bro. Let's see. He'd have been like, you know, I'm not going to press charges. I'm going to find this motherfucker. And then it's like, no, <laughs> no, you're not, bro. You know what? Flight home. Bro, you're going to be, you're going to get to, you're going to get to his hood. And then you're, you're going to realize that you're not cut out for this shit, bro. You're not. Yeah. Like, you leave your motorcycle parked for five minutes. I mean, my fuckers just need to stick and stick to fucking just riding your bike and staying on the fucking road. Don't act tough, you know, because a lot of some a lot of you motherfuckers just ain't cut out for it. Bro, I saw this comment on a video the other day because it was like these like highway robbers. Like they tried to like they tried to like stop their car and then like hop out, right? And like these motherfuckers did. They like hopped out. They had their car blocking like a tunnel. And they hopped out and they started like running at this car that was pulling up, right? And instead of backing up, the dude just guns the fucking gas and starts driving right at them and they all fucking shit themselves and like run <laughs> to the side and he narrowly misses them and just gets by like, like he gets away right yeah it's like bro people forget that your vehicle is a fucking deadly weapon like bro if you pull a gun on me and you're on a motorcycle and we're on the fucking highway you gotta be fucking retarded bro if you think i'm not finna like smack into you bro if you think i won't pit maneuver your fucking motorcycle like, bro, you, pull, you pulled a gun. You think I'm going to be like, whoa, and put my hands up? Bro, I am in a giant bullet. Bro, I see you reach for your bullet. jacket. I see you reach for your fucking jacket in a suspicious way, bro. You better be fucking praying Look that I didn't James fucking see car. that, bro. You better be fucking, bro, I will swerve that car into your lane out of instinct, bro. I'll just be like, mm, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, God, bro, fucking turn your ass to a speed bump, bro. Fucking, I'll get a James Bond car with two machine guns on the fucking front and got the spiky fucking wheels that pop out. Start fucking tossing fucking bottles full of oil out the window. Fucking oil slick, oil slick, oil slick. I'll throw a banana peel at your ass. Shit, bro. I might just shit out the sunroof. <laughs> well, it's been a fucking episode. This was gone to pot. This is an outro. We've never done this before, but suck a fucking fat ass dick. Fucking goon edge. Fucking come in your pants. Fucking. Oh. I'm joking. I'm joking. Make that come to my boots, they can't give a fuck about nothing.